Hello and welcome to Ellen Sancha. This is your host Rupanjita, and today we have with us Miss Ankita Gautam. Welcome to the show, Ankita. Thank you, Rupanjita. So Ankita is an expert on competitive exams, and today she is going to tell us all about NTSC. Ankita, let's start with the most basic question: What is NTSC? NTSC is a national level competitive exam, which stands for National Talent Search Examination. The very important thing that a student should know about this exam is that it is conducted by the government of India. Government provides scholarship to the students who clear NTSC exam. Uh, NTSC exam checks knowledge of students like their IQ level, their subject knowledge, their language knowledge. So I can say it is one of the most prestigious exam of our country for a secondary level students. So basically, NTSC is your ticket to an exciting scholarship. All right, Ankita, who are eligible for this test? Any student who, uh, who is appearing for class tenth, they can give this exam. All right, moving ahead, we would like you to inform us about the benefits of NTSC and why one should appear for this test. As I told you, government provides scholarship to the students who clear NTSC exam. As an NTSC scholar, one is entitled to scholarship amount of rupees twelve hundred and fifty per month for class eleventh and twelfth, and two thousand rupees per month for graduations and post graduation. If you are going for PhD course, then scholarship amount is given according to the UGC norms. In fact, there are lots of advantages if you are an NTSC scholar. Like some uh, colleges in India secure their seats exclusively for NTSC scholar. Apart from this, most of the colleges in abroad uh, give benefits to the students who clear NTSC exam during their admission time. Uh, you will get uh, benefits during NDA selection also. In fact, being an NTSC scholar gives you supreme confidence for cracking such other competitive exams like uh, IIT, JE, Medical, CLAT, etc. So I can say, being an NTSC scholar itself is a great achievement for the students. Well, that's a lot of benefits. Right. So uh, let's talk a little about the history of NTSC. You know how NTSC came into form. NTSC was basically started in 1963. Uh, but when this scholarship was started, only ten scholarship were provided to the students. After the number of scholarship were raised in 1964 by the government of India, and it was started by NCERT, which is a department of our government. So basically, NCERT is the father of the scholarship. Right. All right. But what I'm wondering is, uh, what was the reason behind starting NTSC? Look, Rupanjita, we have lots of talent in our India, but they don't get any opportunity to show their talent. So, considering this point, NCERT started this scholarship to identify and nurture the talented youth or talented students of our country by providing them financial support. Okay. Well, I wish I had appeared for NTSC when I was in class tenth. Have you appeared for NTSC? No, not at all. Never mind. We cannot appear for it now. So let's move ahead. Ankita, tell us what were the major changes made in the scheme that you would like the viewers to know about. As I told you, Rupanjita, uh, when this scholarship was started, only ten scholarship were, were provided to the students who clear NTSC exam. The number of scholarship were increased in 1964. Initially, it was conducted for class 11th. Then, in the middle of 1980s, it was started for class 10th, 11th, and 12th as well. In the year 2006, it was started for class 8 students. But in the year uh, 2012 and 13, government changes its policy, and finally, this scholarship was started for class 10 students only, and the scholarship amount also increased to rupees 1250, as I told you earlier. One more thing I want to mention here: that number of scholarship were 500 in the year 2000 till 2000 year. Then it was increased to 1000 scholarships in the year 2000 only. And now we have an important question: Are there any reserved seats in this test? Yes, in total thousand scholarship, fifteen percent seats are reserved for SC candidates, and seven point five percent seats are reserved for ST candidates. All right. And what about physically challenged students? Can they also appear for this test? Are there any seats reserved for them as well? Very nice question, Rupanjita. Yes, they can appear for this exam as well. Total three percent seats are secured for physically weak students. Okay, that's fantastic. Now I'm sure all you students are eager to know this one. Ankita, what is the format of NTSC? Uh, this exam is conducted in two levels. First is stage one, that is state level examination, and second one is national level examination. Stage one examination is conducted by state education boards, but directly mentored by NCERT, and stage two is directly conducted by NCERT department. All right. I hope this clears all your doubts about NTSC format. Two stages, you have to clear them both. Moving ahead, now we have another important question: How can a student enroll for this test? 
रूपांजिता इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई एंड ऑगस्ट स्टेट एजुकेशन बोर्ड रिलीज इज नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द एनरोलमेंट इन एन टी एस सी स्टेज वन एग्जामिनेशन स्टूडेंट कैन रजिस्टर फ्रॉम द स्टेट एजुकेशन बोर्ड ऑफिस थ्रू ऑफलाइन मोड और दे कैन रजिस्टर ऑनलाइन फ्रॉम देयर ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट्स स्टूडेंट्स डोंट हैव टू रजिस्टर फॉर स्टेज टू एग्जामिनेशन एज ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स हु क्लियर एन टी एस सी स्टेज वन एग्जामिनेशन दे आर एलिजिबल फॉर स्टेज टू और राइट सो दे यू गो फोर्स विद ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट्स ऑफ योर स्टेट बोर्ड एंड यू कैन एनरोल फॉर एन टी एस सी Ankita once enrollment is done it's time to explain the exam pattern to the students uh, there are three section in ntsc stage 1 and stage 2 examination set lct and met set is for scholastic aptitude test lct is for language test and met for mental ability test in set physics chemistry biology maths and social science questions are covered uh, there is no negative marking in stage 1 examination but it is applicable for stage 2 All right, Angita. And what about LCT? What is the qualifying nature of LCT? Uh, LCT is just passing in nature. The mark scored in LCT does not counted in the final merit. One more thing, LCT uh, language test is conducted in two languages only, either English or Hindi. All right. Moving on to the next question, Angita, how should a student prepare for this test? And generally, how much time does it take for the preparations? Students should strictly follow. state textbook of class 9th and class 10th for stage 1 examination and ncert textbook for stage 2 examination according to me a uh, student should start their preparation from their class 9th onwards fair enough and how many students generally appear for this test and what is the selection criteria according to the data uh, approximately 300000 students generally appear for this exam every year uh, out of 300000 students 4000 to 5000 students clear uh, stage 1 examination and finally top 1000 students are awarded with this scholarship scheme ankita is there any provision for rechecking in this test no as all the omrs are put on the web portal of this of their official website and the result making is uh, computer based which is highly efficient so there is no provision like this all right and now we have come to the last question suggestions any suggestions for the students who are planning to appear for ntsc According to me a student should be more focused while preparing for NTSC examination he or she should uh, practice as much as they can uh, one more thing mental ability this subject is not taught uh, in school on the regular basis so a student should practice more for this section and one more thing social science it has a good weightage in this examination so mental ability and social science uh, student should practice more for uh, both these sections And with that today's show comes to an end. Thanks a lot Ankita for being with us on the show and providing our viewers with so much of important information about NTSC. Thank you Rupanjita and all the best to all the students who are preparing for NTSC examination. We will be back with more information on other competitive exams. Till then have a good day.